please press bell icon to subscribe to my channel Seema Gautam for more videos. Dear learners, this is the third part of a three-part series on India's political and physical features. The first and second part of the series are linked in the description box. Please check or watch the video till the end. In this module, you will learn about the coastal plains, ghats, thar deserts and islands in general. India has an extensive coastline of 7,500 km with narrow strips of coastal plains on the outer edges of the Indian Peninsula. Here we'll discuss about the coastal plains. As per their location, these plains are classified as the western coastal plains and eastern coastal plains. The sea fed regions are dotted with the coconut palm covering the shores of Bay of Bengal in the east and Arabian Sea on the west. Line between the west coast of India and the western Ghat hills about which we are going to learn. So the western coastal plain is the thin strip of coastal plain that is washed by the Arabian Sea. It extends from Kutch in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. Short swift rivers flow in the region and so no deltas are found here. The plains is divided into three regions. The Konkan coast in regions covering coastal Maharashtra and Goa, the Kanara coast along coast of Karnataka and the Malabar coast covering Kerala. It stretches across the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka and Kerala. We'll move further and discuss about eastern coast. Lying between the eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal, these plains are wider compared to the western coastal plains. Located on the eastern side, they are washed by the Bay of Bengal. They extend from Mount of Ganga in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. Large river deltas of all major Deccan rivers from the regions. Divided into two regions are the Northern Sirkar, north of the Godavari and the Coromandel coast south of the Godavari. Stretches across the states of Orissa, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Important ports built in the regions are Vishakhapatnam, Pradeep, Chennai, Tutikarin, etc. Here we'll move ahead and discuss about the Ghats. Ghats refer to the covering mountain ranges in the southeastern India called the Eastern Ghats and the Western Ghats running along the eastern, eastern and western seaboards of the country. Characteristics of the Western and Eastern Ghats also known as Sahedri extends from Tapi or Tapi Valley in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. The Ghats form a continuous chain that run almost parallel to the western coastal plain. These hills are steep and rugged. The Ghats are source of many rivers which drain into the Arabian Sea. It like a climatic barrier to the southwest monsoon winds. Several hills located on these uh, ghats such as Nilgiris on the Blue Mountain with the highest peak, uh, Doda Beta and the uh, Cardamon uh, Men's Hill, southernmost hill range in India with highest point at highest point Anai Modi. Here we'll discuss about Eastern Ghats. Eastern Ghat extends from Mahanadi River in the north to Nilgiri Hills in the south. The Ghats are discontinuous chain that run almost parallel to eastern coastal plain. The hills are smaller and slope generally compared to the western Ghats with average elevation of 450 meter reaching maximum height of 1200 meter. Many non-originating rivers flow through here draining into the Bay of Bengal. Lie on the rain shadow area 
or we can say region of the southwest monsoon winds several hills are located with the highest peak is devadi munda also second highest peak is mahendra giri near chilka lake in orissa these hills are famous for sandalwood let's learn about the thar the thar is also called the great indian desert it is an arid region in the northwestern part of india it extends from gujarat in rajasthan in the northwest to punjab and haryana in the north the region receives its scanty rainfall as it lies in the leeward sides of the aravalli mountains as a result of extreme dryness and high temperature the region lacks water despite the presence of the loni river which carries little water the landscape is characterized by the high and low sand dunes the indra gandhi canal which flows on the thar desert near satsar village in rajasthan's bikaner district draws water from the satluj river contributing some scratches of fertile land where crops like wheat barley grape and melons grow here we we'll learn about the islands two distinct groups of islands lies on the two oceans surrounding the main landmass of india namely the andaman and nicobar islands in the bay of bengal and the lakshadweep islands in the arabian sea the lakshadweep islands are located close to the malabar coast on the western coast line and they consist of cluster clusters of coral islands and remain largely un inhabited the andaman and nicobar islands are group of 550 islands located off the bay of bengal in the indian oceans they are larger in size than the lakshadweep islands and are separated by the 10 degree channel an active volcano exists on barren islands in the andamans thank you so much please see the description box for the part 1 and part 2